In this quick tutorial, I am going to be showing you how to create and share uh, several of the Google apps, such as Docs, Spreadsheets, Forms, Presentations, uh, how to create them and share them uh, with others. So the first thing you want to do, obviously, is log into your Gmail. If you do not have one, uh, go to gmail.com and sign up. It is free. Uh, once you get to your inbox, you will see these tabs at the top. Click on your Google Drive. Your Google Drive is your free online storage uh, area where not only can you store documents, but you can actually create uh, various kinds of documents, which I'm going to show you right now. You can see in here in my, my drive, I have all kinds of folders of everything from uh, Google Docs, spreadsheets, forms, presentations, uh, Google Drawings, uh, you name it, it's in here. So to begin with, to create, let's just start with Google Docs. To create a Google Doc, you simply go to, uh, in your drive, go to the Create button, and a drop-down box will appear, and here are your top five Google apps. You've got Documents, Presentations, Spreadsheets, Forms, and Drawings. Uh, for this instance, let's just take a Google Doc, because it's probably the most user-friendly and, and the one that you're most familiar with. You click on it and you have a blank doc that looks very much like a Microsoft Word doc. Um, and here is where you can create, much like you would in Microsoft Word, uh, your content for your page. Uh, it is important that you do name your page in the upper left-hand corner. The default is Untitled Document. In this case, we're just going to put Test Doc and click OK. And then it changes your name. And that's how it will appear in your drive uh, as a Test Doc. Now, once you get some content on your page and you want to share it with somebody, um, it's very, very simple. You simply go up here to the Share button and click it. And here is where it's going to be very handy to have the email address of the people you would like to share it with. It doesn't have to be a Gmail address um, to share it with anyone. You just need their email address. In this case, I'm going to share it with my Woodward account. Uh, and then you have some options. Uh, you can allow me to edit, comment, or just simply view the document. Uh, if you want your students or teachers you're collaborating with to edit it, you definitely want to keep the default, which is can edit. Um, you can add a message to the people that you want. This is a test. Um, and you can even, make, to make sure it arrived properly, send a copy to myself. When you're done, you click Share and Save. And now you'll see in the list of people who have access to the document, not only my personal Gmail, but my Woodward account also has access to this and will appear in my Google Drive. When you're done, you click Done. And you can click Out of the Document. Now, if you look in your drive, you will see uh, right here, there is a symbol for Google, uh, for the docs, uh, the Google Doc is the test doc. You click on it, and there's my page again. So endless editing. And that is a quick and easy way to create and share uh, a Google Doc.